Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft. Um today I'm going to be showing you that farm I was talking about and this is me competing in the farm competition. It doesn't really have an official name cuz it isn't that official. It's just the farming competition. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so basically um I'm competing against the Aerocrafter and Champawa and I showed you guys um his survival world. And yeah, so um, I'm going to be showing you my automatic farm. So basically how it works, well I'll just show you how you use it. And basically to do this, there would be two workers and then there would be the person, whoever like the civilian is receiving the wheat. So this is where one of the workers is and he hits these two levers. And then basically it's going to wipe all this out by tricking these pistons and it will flood the water. Okay, now moving on to the next part. All this wheat that's been knocked out starts flowing through here. As you can see, it falls down. And then now, this is where the second worker does his job. So what he would do here is he would lower this. He hits this lever and it'll lower this. Like that. And it'll bring all that wheat down. Okay. Then he, he hits the lever again. Stop the flow. And then he hits this lever. And I'll fly out here so you can see. It'll lower this piston and it'll start flowing it down again. So now I'll go over to the where the civilian would go. And as you can see here, he would go down to this place. And you'd see that he'd have all this wheat and stuff. So it'll start collecting it. And okay, let's just wait until that all comes down here. Come on. There we go. And now, see, as of now, it's not 100% finished, but it's more like a concept showing you how it works. So basically, what's supposed to happen here is the same thing. It's supposed to be pretty much symmetrical. So the same, like, water falling down here is supposed to happen on this side because I lose, like, the other 50% here. So I'll just pick this up. As you can see, it harvests a lot of stuff. If this were completely finished, you'd get two stacks of wheat approximately but unfortunately it is not 100% finished but um, maybe actually later I will make a well once the competition is over maybe I'll go back to this world but yeah that's all I really have to show you but I guess I will kind of go in depth on how this actually works it's pretty basic so let's just hit these levers and basically once again self explanatory I'll break these blocks so you can see there's water in here and some pistons and then you hit the lever lever whatever you want to call it. it powers this redstone and then it triggers these pistons whichever direction that has to be done and then basically the fully grown crops will be here it floods down like i said it washes it out goes through here blah 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 and then here it might get a bit more complex um so what happens here is that this piston rises up. The reason I have it like this is because I have like water flow issues. So yeah, I mean, is isn't really much to explain. I guess the wiring could be explained. You hit this lever, goes all around here. But yeah, not much to explain. It's a pretty simple design um, to reduce the amount of um, the ratio of wheat loss. The sound use fancy terms and stuff. I'm gonna want to build it upwards. I probably should do that right now. So yeah, and um, basically, I will link you a description. I will link. Oh my god, I can't speak today. I will put a link in the description, which will take you to the Aerocrafters video, and it'll show you his farm. And then basically, you'll comment um, on either one of our videos, saying that you want to vote, like who you think should win this competition. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave your comments telling us who's gonna who you, th who you think should win and yeah i don't really know what else to say and there isn't really much else to say but thank you um thanks for watching and bye